Over the past three and a half years, in 19 American communities, the quiet rhythm of everyday life was exploded by the same memorable event. The president came to town. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the United States and Mrs. Carter. Jimmy Carter flew in not to meet with the mayor or the governor, but simply to meet with the people themselves. In high school gyms and auditoriums from Bangor, Maine to Merced, California, he stood before them without notes or advisors to answer their questions. Questions ranging from local anxieties to international policies. It's the presidential town meeting, and Jimmy Carter invented it. We approve of your efforts in Afghanistan, but we feel it has been at some expense to the American farmer with the grain embargo. When will you lift the grain embargo? Those are difficult questions, and before I answer them, I think I'll take off my coat, okay? <laughs> it's kind of hot up here. The Soviets have invaded Afghanistan in a completely unwarranted action, so I am not going to lift the farm restraints on the Soviet Union in the foreseeable future. So I will continue to punish the Soviet Union based in Afghanistan. An election year is, uh, in a way, a difficult time for a country and obviously for those of us who hold public office. However, in many ways, it's the best year of all because it gives us a chance to confront difficult issues and to let the people be more deeply involved in shaping our country for the future. I learn a lot in a campaign. And I learned a lot in a meeting like this. What's on your mind, what your concerns are, what your doubts are, what your confidences are, what your hopes are. My name is George Henderson, Jr. I'm a resident here in Alcoba. I would like to ask you a question dealing with our educational system. Our second grade children would like to ask you these questions. What part of your job do you enjoy the most? And do you get dizzy flying in Air Force One? <laughs> Do you feel that your administration has, in fact, put more women in decision-making positions than your enlightened Republican predecessors? <laughs> Do you have any idea when the hostages in Iran will be released? I want you to know how concerned we are with inflation. Young people are no longer able to buy homes of their own. Can you tell me what your administration is doing to reverse this situation? I can say that I'm at least as concerned about it as you are. It's uh, ever present on my mind. It's one of the biggest responsibilities on my shoulders and one of the most difficult questions to answer. The first thing that we can do is to set an example with the federal government policies, with tight government constraint on spending, tight monetary constraint to prevent unnecessary uh, demand for goods, increased uh, productivity, increased soundness of the dollar, increased export of American goods, and voluntary price and wage constraints, I believe that all of us together can turn this inflation spiral around. My name is Lorraine Michaels, and I'm from Sarah, Oklahoma. And we do welcome you to our city, Mr. President. And instead of a question, I have a comment. As a citizen of the United States of America, of Western Oklahoma, and of the rural community, and more particularly as mother of three, excuse me, of three teenage sons, I want to express to you my personal prayers and gratitude for your role as peacemaker in the world today. President Carter, the people have come to respect his energy, his dedication, and his good sense.